What's going on guys? Chris Rodnock here and today we are at the Rodnock Mod Shop. It is official now. We got the shirts. Official. Official review. <laughs> Throw down in the comments what you think that's from. But, uh, like I said, we gotta put the exhaust on today. I don't have a lot of time, it's raining, it's really crappy out, but we're gonna throw the exhaust on, put some tranny fluid in her. We're gonna go for a romp because that's what was gonna go down today. But if you guys wanted to look at the shirt, the pre orders end on Sunday. So, Sunday at midnight. So, if you want one of these shirts and you don't wanna miss out, now's the time to do it. Or if you wanna do oh. it on Sunday, what do you say, oh, about? You can't fit under there? Dude, I got a car coming in tomorrow, you know, the Rod Knock Mod Shop. I got a reliable customer coming here, and we're going to be working on their car. We got to, I don't know, we got to do some things to it. So it's going to be fun, so, until tomorrow. So today, worker Will Guida was under the E36. This is how he wanted to jack it up. So this is how we're going to do it. I was going to do the front, and then he jacked it up like this, so I said he can do it. Because I'm not going under there like that. Why? Just look how tight it is. It is. It's not that bad for you, though. No. It's very tight. <laughs> you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. So, guys, exhaust is up. Everything is bolted down. She ain't going nowhere. Will was under the card. He was like, bro, there's something blinking under here. I'm like, what are you talking about, Will? He's like, dude, there's something blinking. He's like, dude, it's on fire. So I'm like, I'm over here. Like, right when he said that, I instantly think, act your fire. Oh, my God. Stay back, though, because I hear oh shit popping. Oh, my God. It's the glass. It's breaking. I instantly think of jail, and I'm like, I'm fucked. So, like, I quickly get out. He's like, dude, dude. And then no, I come I out just, and there's nothing. There's finished. nothing. Oh yeah, I just got finished tightening the V-band, so I think it was like rattling something, and there's like rush just coming. But it like wasn't rust. It was like it looked, probably it vape looked, smoke. Like, it looked. Where's vape smoke? It no, like it literally looked like somebody blew a vape and like it went down and it was like slight like streams kind of, and like I was like looking under there and something was like flashing red and I was like. What the fuck? I didn't realize the exit sign was right there. So I yeah, it I was just, the like, exit sign. I think I was catching glimpses of the exit sign. Kids a stone but, bag. Like, it fucking, <laughs> all I heard was like, it was definitely in my head because like I thought of worst case scenario. I was like, what if this thing's on fire? And all I heard was like the, like when something lights on fire, it's like, Foof. I heard that. And then I saw the smoke and I was like, no fucking way. So now we're just going to put some tranny fluid in her and then we're going to take it for a spin. I lied. Before we put tranny fluid in it, we're going to start it because I, I want to hear what it sounds like again with the exhaust. I want to see if it makes that big of a difference. It definitely does. You're a fuck. Here. Something smoking. Look. Is something leaking? How does that make any sense? We didn't touch anything. Oh, fucking a coil packs unplugged. Jesus. <laughs> Don't come to the rotten knock mantra. Something like something was burning. Dude, these headers are already warm. I was about to be so fucking pissed, dude. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? All right, take two. Now I'm all nervous, dude. Go. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, something's sparking. Can like, you, instead of saying something, can you tell me what it is? I have no clue. All I see is fucking flashes of yellow going. Is it near the starter? Yeah, it's like flashing right here. 
So maybe there's a starter wire like disconnected or something and it's just like No, it's probably You go start it. It's Wait, it's the power wire, I already know, but I wanna see it. It's Wait, it's the power wire, I already know, but I wanna see it. I saw it for a second. What the fuck is that? Ooh, this is burning my nostrils. What the fuck? That wasn't even the starter. No, it was like, yeah, it was like up towards the It was like a lightning flash. Yeah. Like a, a heat flash. Oh, putting tranny fluid in her now. I don't know how much I lost, so I'm just gonna put two cords in. So we're starting it and putting it outside, so grab this just in case. Yeah. I honestly think it's the O2. Oh shit. What? It's this wire hitting the fucking headers, dude. I told you I saw something glowing. That was what I saw glowing. Right there. See that thing's glowing red right there? I don't see anything. Right there. That red wire. Oh shit. That's what I saw glowing. It was blinking. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Hur hurry. I fucking told you I saw something blinking. Fuck, dude. Well, here at the Rod Knock Mod Shop, we make mistakes. I got a, um, that's actually for a subwoofer. Bought it at Walmart, and that's my, um, alternator signal wire. And it's grounding out on the headers, and it's probably melting it. Yeah, I, yeah. Fuck. It's like charred, you can see it. I wonder how hot it is. Yeah, I would not go for it. That, that's hot as fuck. All right, it's, it's not touching anymore, but that, that that thing's black. It's okay. It's just a little charred. Yeah. No big deal. Just a little bit. It's like super bent right now. <laughs> it's like, it's just Don't go right back to there, you fucking asshole. What can you like? I what? blame Grant. Grant told me to run it this way. I blame Grant. I feel like he really didn't. You're just No, he actually did. So how is but it supposed to? Then again, it's not his fault that I just routed it weirdly. Or you have too much, so it's the slack is fucking. If I can just make it stick right there with like a zip tie or something, we'll be golden. How are you gonna do that? Uh, I haven't came to that conclusion yet, Alrighty. but when I do, I'll definitely let you know. All right, well we'll be back. That was a good cloud. So. Very good. Let me tell you guys one thing. When you're building a car, you know, and you're not really sure on your mechanic abilities, don't tighten the negative ground strap in case of a fire, in case of anything, anything major happens like that, that could have started a fire. I just ran back there, pulled it off. So I'm gonna put that back on. We're gonna warm her up, then take it for a rip. It, it would be like losing power. Yeah. So I think we're good. We're gonna stay here for like two minutes, let it just warm up and everything, and then we're gonna go for a rip. That's so annoying. It's because there's like a little air gap.
pretty sure that's the oil blow by because I don't have the catch can. my knowledge I don't know what's going on hopefully I can start it up real quick and I can get it back into the shop fuck <laughs> what the fuck dude starter wouldn't shut off. Oh. You guys okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to get it to my shop right there. I just put this all together and stuff. So I'm just trying to, wow. I'm trying to break out the kinks. This sucks. So we got another guy. Just came by. I feel bad for the other guy that's coming. Yeah. But I'm gonna try to get this off the road as soon as possible. Yeah. It's... I don't know really what happened the last time, but we're gonna try to start it again. Here, I wanna pull your truck up a little bit. You, you can make it, Well, Go ahead. Not going? No. Hold on. Now try. Fans aren't even kicking on. Hmm. Nothing's kicking on. Hold on. Uh, I blew a fuse now. Nice. Well, I blew a fuse. <laughs> no, I blew a fuse. You could try to turn it. Yeah, lights aren't even coming on. So, I'm an idiot. Again, another, the starter wire, or the power wire was... Oh, the blue one? No, well, not... Why, is the blue one charred too? Looks like or is it just the red? Red. No, it the red one's super charred. It doesn't even look like the red one. No, it's charred. I saw it. Oh, I see it. But the red one know. got melted because it was against the header once again. Yeah, see, look at the blue one. The blue one's... Is it worse? Yeah. Look at the blue one right here. That's probably why it won't start. Wait, is the what's the blue one? It is... See it? I can see all... Wait, is the blue one right... Is that this one? No. Oh, that's the signal wire. That's probably... That's why it wouldn't shut off. I have so many starter problems. Always double check your work. Ugh, let me be your class clown. Yeah, I won't even turn on now. So guys, I ended up popping a fuse. Just put a new fuse in. And I'm running out of time. I got stuff to do. Um, so this is, I'm on a time budget. I should be gone already. But I just want to figure this out super fast. Because I'm talking to Jack on FaceTime right now. I told him all about like the blow by and stuff. How far away are you? And the information he gave me was kind of scary, and now I'm a little nervous. Oh. Yeah, so, gonna we're going to see. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Here, here goes nothing. He's going to shoot some stuff out of there. I don't like this anymore. Yes, out there. 
launched around and it sloshed up and hit the the piston skirt. Like it got through the baffle somehow. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm reaching here because it, if it didn't smoke now, that's a good sign. Yeah. So, um, I would just keep an eye on the oil, make sure it's not consuming a lot of oil, and then, you know, play it by ear. But you so, guys, I'm sorry that I, I can't stick around and I can't finish this tonight, but um, the signal wire is charred and the power wires charged, so I'm gonna have to get both new of those, and the, I don't, I don't know what was up with the blow-by, Jack explained it a little, maybe, like, there was still a little bad, um, oil in the car, and maybe it got past the ring somehow, and then it just smoked a little, but it's, just, it's not smoking at idle, so that's a good sign, the motor's probably healthy, and, yeah, I don't really know where to go from there, pick up the shirts, because if this motor's bad, I'm really gonna need that money. So, um, yeah, at least we did, at least we got to take it for a rip today, so today wasn't a complete failure. Yeah, we got a little stranded, but at least it was in front of the shop, and at least, at least we got to blow one donut before she broke, or kind of broke. I don't really know, but I'm so late, and damn. I'm an asshole. I forgot to bring my camera home last night, and I didn't get to edit the video last night because my shop's 40 minutes away, and I didn't have enough time to come back up, but... It's the next day, and me and Will apparently have a lot of work to do here, so. It's all coming from the subframe. Like, your subframe is soaked. We got a lot of work to do. I have no idea what happened, and I don't even, I really don't even know where this can be leaking. It's not like this is a turbo car or anything, so I guess we're going to have to look into it. And this isn't looking good, so definitely stay tuned for tomorrow because I think Cam and Brennan are coming up here today. So we'll, we'll have a little more help, but stay tuned for tomorrow. Fuck me.